two kids called George and Annie, and we just had Bear Grylls talking about girls having adventures. Mm. Well, girls have adventures and they like science too, and Annie is on the cover of this one. This is the fourth book of a series, and Annie is getting more and more important as Good. the series goes on. Um, and the two kids have a supercomputer called Cosmos that allows them to slip out into the universe and have a range of adventures that are all based on real science. Mm. So I kind of tell the story right. and my father adds the science. Well, gosh, so you couldn't get anybody better. <laughs> <laughs> well, other scientists as well. We, I work with a range of scientists now right. and that's actually part of the point, is to show that science is a collaborative mm. um, enterprise sure. and that it involves lots of people. Because a lot of kids have a view of scientists that they're lonely people with a massive head who live in a tower with a white coat on doing an evil experiment. Right. We're trying to get away from that and show the thrill and the wonder and the discovery of science and the excitement. And to make it accessible and entertaining for kids mm. by relating it through the eyes of two kids. Yeah, so exactly. that's kind of how it works. And then Dad and I get together and we say, he says, what should we write about scientifically? And I have to try and think oh. about how would we express that in the right. terms of a story, which is actually quite a complicated thing to do. No, it's really good, though, because it, it, it works very, very well. And it's like what we've seen to be earlier on. This could easily be a TV show or a TV series. It, it's being made into an animated I'm not surprised. And actually, TV animated series. is better, it I is. think, in some it ways, is. because your imagination, you can just that's run riot, right. can't you? And you can go all across the universe, which would be quite hard to do with live action. It would. 